Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If y'all are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today we're going to be in the Tier 6 American um, Premium Heavy Cruiser USS Indianapolis. We're also going to be joined by a couple division mates. Um, we're going to be joined by Corky Bark. He's going to um, have a channel. You guys can go check him out. I got a link in the description. Follow that link. Go give him a subscription. It does help him out quite a bit. Um, and we're also joined by another division mate, none other than Ian B. I'm sure you guys have seen him on the channel before. I'm sure you guys have seen both of them on the channel before. But um, yeah, so today we're going to have some fun, and uh, we're going to see what we can get cooking. Now, I uh, hope you all have had a uh, great weekend. I know I've had a decent weekend myself, and I'm going to be going to see a concert here soon, so I'm all set. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, so um, I guess happy Monday to you all to start to a new week, and we got to keep pushing, you know what I mean? So thank you guys um, for stopping by today's video, and let's get right into it, shall we? So, yeah, we're in the USS Indianapolis. This ship has been featured on the channel before. Now, the thing that's special about the Indianapolis is its 203mm 8-inch guns. These guns are fantastic. When you let them, you know, if you let them keep ringing out there, they're going to put some damage um, on your team. So, taking out these kind of ships um, is very important. However, um, if you're in the Indianapolis and uh, you see broadside cruisers, uh, yeah, I guess you can blow them up like I just did there. Three citadels. Boom. But uh, no, no, no. In all seriousness, though, it's all about playing well. Um, because, yes, you have good guns, but you don't have good armor. That's kind of the, the, the one problem with this ship. You got really bad armor on the Indian, uh, Indianapolis. So what you guys need to be doing in your Indianapolis is playing islands, using your concealment, using your maneuverability, and your speed, which is very good on the Indianapolis to your advantage. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's basically how you're gonna stay alive. You guys need to, you know, kite. Use your concealment. Use your maneuverability and speed. Use island cover. Use smokes like I'm doing. And you guys will have a pretty decent time in the Indianapolis. Now, um, I'm gonna real quick put up the commander build up on the screen for you guys there, right about now. And uh, yeah, for the commander, we're running Norman Scott, level 16, legendary 4. We've got Beyond Range, Igniter, Punch Through, Fixated, and Refill Station on to the commander inspirations now. Um, we are running Francesco Membelli. Um, time to make a move. Reduce the reload time of your cruiser's main batteries by about minus 6%. Augustin Ridgerwald. We also have Merciless on here. Increase the um, increase your cruiser's AP shell maximum damage and reduce your cruiser's reload time. So increase the damage about, um, about 3% and decreases the reload by about 3% as well. Take that away for you guys. And, uh, yeah, that's our commander build for our Indianapolis. I run that build on most of my heavy cruisers. Now, if you guys are going in the comments saying, play, play the, um, uh, play Einstein, put Einstein on here. I don't have a lot of the Halloween commanders, guys. I don't buy commanders, okay? So, um, keep that in mind. So don't ask in the comments for many commanders. Like, you can ask, but I'll probably say no because a lot of commanders I don't have. I have, like, a few commanders, but those are, like, commanders I got out of crates. So, anyway, yeah. Enough talking about the commanders. Let's talk about the ship a bit more, shall we? So we were covering earlier um, on the guns and all that. We were talking about the guns and how good they are and how you need to be uh, playing this ship as kind of a survival kind of boat. You need to be using your, you know, maneuverability, your speed, concealment, blah, 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 blah. We were talking about that earlier. So let's actually talk a little bit about the other things about this ship. So the armor on the Indianapolis, like I said, it's not great. But it has a bit better armor than most of the other heavy cruisers at this tier, um, at least the American heavy cruisers. As you guys are probably aware, uh, most cruisers at this tier have, like, no armor. But this thing does have a little bit of armor um, on the belts and stuff, so you can ricochet stuff off you, but it, it won't happen as much. You'll still get eaten alive by high-caliber armor piercing, so just keep that in mind when you're playing this thing. You're basically, um, yeah, you're, you're a floating citadel of sadness if battleships want to actually take shots at you, so... Be careful is all um, in your Indy, um, and really in any of your American heavy cruisers for that matter. Now, um, the speed and maneuverability of this ship, we were talking about it quite a bit um, in the beginning of the video, but um, we actually never really put a spotlight on it. The speed and maneuverability of this thing is absolutely awesome. The maximum speed, um, this thing can easily go over 35 knots if you even put one, insp like one inspiration on there. Um, so a speed build, not the worst idea in the world, and the concealment also is pretty good as well. Um, I'm not even specced into the concealment really at all. I, the most I have on here is the concealment systems mod. That's what I run if you guys are not aware. So I get my concealment down to 10 kilometers. But if you actually build for that, you can actually stealth radar in your Indianapolis. Um, now, 
the maneuverability of the ship, it's pretty good. As you could guess, it's an American heavy cruiser. It's not as sluggish as Baltimore, to say the least. Um, but uh, yeah, speaking of radar, by the way, um, we were just talking about that a second ago. The radar on the Indianapolis is very, very, very good. You've got 9.9 .9 kilometer range, 25 second duration. It's very strong radar for Tier 6. I believe it is the best radar at Tier 6. So, radar, very good on the Indianapolis. And uh, the AA on the Indy. Not the greatest, but it is still American AA. You got some 40 millimeter Bofors. You got some. I think you have some dual purpose five inch guns to throw in the mix to give you some flat clouds. So AA, it's all right, um, but it's nothing too crazy. It's nothing like Baltimore or Iowa levels, but it's still there if you need it. Um, and that's about it. I think we covered most of the topics here on the Indianapolis. It's pretty damn good. I love it. It's a great cruiser. It's just you got to play it carefully. Um, most of these lower tier cruisers, tier four. Or two, tier 3 through tier uh, 6, you have to play these things carefully because you don't get that beautiful 27 millimeters of armor like the Baltimore does. Um, so you guys got to play these things very carefully. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's actually start talking about the match here. Um, we're up to 39,000 damage. We're starting um, to uh, rack up the damage here. We're spamming some high explosive here at range at this, te uh, this Tennessee. Um, Tennessee um, did put out my fires, I believe. So if we can get another one on them, um, that will be permanent. Look at also the HE damage. These 8-inch guns, guys, they're fantastic. Um, and even the HE, um, the penetration on the HE, it will show off. Um, you guys will absolutely smack around even battleships in their superstructures. It's nasty. And uh, there's the permafire we needed. Um, beautiful. And uh, we're aiming a little bit more in the front there to hopefully get a frontal fire um, on there. Maybe get a, just a double fire going, but you never know. Now, uh... The AP on this thing is where this thing really shines. Um, there's just no, there's no cruisers left for me to take out, so I'm just I'm stuck here shooting HE at a battleship. But even AP on the battleships can do quite good in some uh, in some areas. You, that eight inch American super heavy AP is just nasty. Um, it's not uncommon to hit battleships for 10 plus K a salvo if you get all nine guns to hit. And I've centered out battleships before with this AP. That's how strong the 8-inch guns are. Um, and it's not just for America. A lot of the other countries have 8-inch guns too. Like the British, for example, the British heavy cruisers, the Japanese heavy cruisers. You know, you cannot sleep on this 8-inch HE or AP. It's very strong. It's got a lot of penetration. It could pen almost everything. And it's it's nasty. So you got to look out for it. Now we're up to 73,000. Um, we're doing pretty good in the damage department here. We're just, you know, keeping our this island between me and that Tennessee. We're able to lob some shells over it. And uh, get some fires on that Tennessee. And he is just not having a great time. And any second now, he's going to be going back to port. And, um, yeah, that will be our first kill of the game. <laughs> Finally. Um, we're about almost 10 minutes into the game, and that's our first kill. Um, so, yeah, but seriously, guys, um, thank you for tuning in this far. And if you guys have liked the video so far and you're not already subscribed, please go down and do so. We're getting super close to our next milestone here on the channel. That is 1,000 subscribers. That's going to be the most historical milestone yet. So make sure you guys contribute to that a bit. Um, you know, tell a friend about this channel. Have them come over and sub, even if they don't want to watch it. Because if we're gonna, the only way we're going to get closer to that next goal is if you guys go down there, help the channel grow, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, all that stuff. It does help out the channel a lot. I cannot thank you all enough for it. And uh, yeah. So, we're up to 82k, we're taking some shots at this Gneisenau, we're in a very dangerous situation here, we only have 16,000 HP, that Gneisenau's 15 inch guns will absolutely smack the crap out of us if we're not careful. Now, we do go broadside on purpose there, I hope to take overpens, and we actually do, we get overpenned. Um, that's actually a thing you can use to your advantage, no armor, best armor. Um, and we actually managed to pull that off there, and uh, not take any penetrations or citadels, so that's good. Now. We're going to keep these 8-inch guns rolling. I mean, that's all we're doing. It's a cruiser game at the end of the day. You just got to keep at range and be a support role and just spam people down if need be. Because right now, we don't have anything else really left to do. The destroyer was last spotted um, near that battleship, but then he's last spotted here. I'm quite surprised, so I pop my sonar. I'm turning my guns over to the destroyer. Ship smasher, what the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> he, he's going crazy. Now, we got our radar. We pop it, we use it, we take some shots with their 8-inch guns. I'm hoping some of those will land. A couple of them look good. Now we just get one hit and an incapacitation on his rudder. He's probably going to DC that, hopefully, so I can actually get another good hit on him, maybe. We'll have to see here. Radar, about 7 seconds left. That's going to be our last shot, I believe, with the radar. And we might be able to get another shot with the back gun. Um, yeah, we actually will be able to. 
And hopefully that will smack him. Let's see. That looks pretty good, the dispersion. And yeah, we get a hit. Nothing too crazy. We take a blind shot there. I'm hoping to hit him again. And uh, unfortunately, not going to happen. Um, he's still left alive. And uh, really not much we can do about that. Now, we got to be careful here because, like I said, you know, we got to use that island cover to our advantage because there's an Ismail out there. Ismail is a very, very dangerous ship. It's Russian. It's got 14-inch guns. So we're slowing down, keeping this island between me and that Ismail so we don't get absolutely obliterated. Now the ship smasher decides to um, shoot and get spotted for some reason, and down he goes. <laughs> like, don't know what he was thinking. But I also don't know what I'm thinking here. Um, I decide to roll out broadside in front of an Ismail. Not a very good idea. Um, his 14-inch guns are less likely to just overpen me. Um, but... I guess I wanted to get a bit more damage and win a bit more harder. I don't recommend you guys ever do this, but I was just doing it probably because I'm recording and I wanted to get a good damage game for you guys. I know a lot of you guys love high damage games, so here you guys go. But I don't usually recommend doing this because you guys will see why here in a second. It's not a very good idea to win harder. Um, if you guys have the win, no need to rush out there and just throw it away. Um, it's not a very good idea, but I don't know. I feel pretty confident. Uh, I got... I got um, I have Quirky Bark here in his King George with me, so I feel pretty good about this. And yeah, we get absolutely hammered. Left on 69 health. <laughs> that number. That's pretty funny. 69. It, out of all numbers we get left on, it's 69. Now here's some AP action, unfortunately. Russian armor, Russian belt. Not much we can really do about that. Not a whole lot of results. And we get taken out by his secondaries. But I think that was a good match to show off regardless, guys. I think that was awesome. Um, and like I said, guys, here's Quirky Bark. Respect hitting him now, but go give him a subscription, guys. He's got a channel. Go follow it in the link in the description down below and go help him out. Um, I do appreciate all the support. And since he's the last guy left, Quirky Bark does just ram him there. But uh, anyways, that is the end of today's video. I hope you all did enjoy it. And uh, yeah, victory. We've got um, 113,000 damage, 2 kills, 2.6k base. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great rest of your week. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.